watching more enjoy paintings and welcome to my creative side in this video i will be painting with oils for the first time and i will be bringing you guys throughout the entire process I decided to sketch and paint outside because the weather was really nice. It was a sunny day and the shades were very, I don't know, it's very calm and peaceful. I just felt like painting outside. I painted this piece for a very significant reason. That is to remind me of a valuable lesson I learned. And it all started when when I was told about a good slash bad news. At first I don't want to believe I was being skeptical. So I grabbed my best friend because at that moment it felt like a very serious conversation. We then asked for more details but I really find it false information. It was merely a group conversation with my friends and seeing their faces and hearing their responses plus the provided evidence made me believe that the news they were telling was true. So I became worried. I don't know how to react. My thoughts were, should I scold him or should I congratulate him? I don't know. I really don't know. My mind was filled with what will happen now thoughts. But, I only kept my thoughts to myself. The more he speaks, the more my friends support him, the more convincing he was. After a couple of months, I unexpectedly found out it was all a lie. And the excuse was, It's a prank! I really thought it was real. I was worried for him. I was fooled in front of my friends. I was really shocked about what I found out. My anger aroused, my fears were falling out, and my hands are shaking in fists. I was about to say something terribly hurtful, but gladly, I was able to control myself. However, the prank itself doesn't hurt as much as the thought of being laughed at for being gullible just because I cared. It's pride crashing. I felt dumb and I was hurt. I should have paid more attention to those deceiving eyes. I want to be mad at him. But I realize people will always lie. But what matters the most is how we handle our thoughts when they lie. Or in other words, we can control them but we can control ourselves. And I was being foolish. I should have trusted my guts. Hence, I should be mad at myself. However, I don't want to be hard on myself. That's against self-love. So I will just gonna pick up the lesson and forget what happened. In this case, I learned that I should be more skeptical and smarter on what to believe. I want to thank the people, especially the guy. If it weren't because of them, I could have learned this in a hard and worse way. So, thank you.
I was just vibing to a song, Mr. Perfectly Fine. That's what I do in between painting for hours, just to, you know, take a break and just vibe this song, bring back the energy, and go back to painting. <laughs> Sometimes my left hand gets very shaky, so I need to support it by my right hand. So that explains why I am holding my left hand. When I was about to paint the eyes, lashes, and brows, I realized I don't have black oil paint. I forgot to order one. And since gold is my accent paint color, I also need to order gold oil paint. I ranted about how I haven't thought of including these colors while I was ordering oil paints before. But I was also like, oh come on, Marian, as if you can afford to buy all seven colors at once. <laughs> It normally takes one to two weeks before my orders will arrive. So, in the meantime, I did some experimenting on my sketchbook with gouache, and this is how it turned out. After a month of waiting and a month of renovating the house, I finally got to paint again. People should know that I don't take painting for granted. I want to paint with a purpose, with a meaning behind it, with a story to visualize while looking at the piece. That's what I want to paint. And this painting here is exactly what I wanted. The goal of this painting is to capture the pain I felt through my eyes. I really worked hard in making the eyes look realistic, so I hope I did enough. I also love painting realistic skins, and I also love painting abstract or spontaneous brushstrokes. So I decided to combine the two techniques. The eye part needs to be realistic to make it clear that that is the center of attraction. The hand and hair part will be filled with a variety of paint splashes, dripping, scribbles, etc. To have a smooth transition from abstract to realism, I decided to overlap both techniques on the nose part by adding minimal brush strokes over the realistic cheeks. I visualized the white brush strokes as the pain marks, as if I was being scratched on my face in front of my friends. To be honest, I'm a little worried that a lot of people might not like this artwork due to so much is going on, but I also thought that I shouldn't be worried about what other people think, whether they like it or not because I paint to inspire, especially to express. 
not to impress. So I erased the hesitations and I am proud that I was able to turn pain into a meaningful and interesting painting. Still, I would love some constructive criticism. That would be nice. Thanks. I call this piece Price of Gullibility. This is the situation after I finish the painting. Time to take some pictures. If you did enjoy this video, please let me know in the comments down below. Give it a like, share it to your friends and subscribe for more contents like this. Ta-ta!